Hello everyone and welcome to this tutorial from Diagino. Today I will guide you for the installation of your BioRipper Plus. Let's go! So, first you have to check your different boxes and their label. You'll have at least 5 boxes. Your BioRipper Plus, box 1 of 1. The soundproof box. The cooler system and two boxes containing the different parts constituting the single cycle valve system. What exactly is inside each box? We will start by opening the water cooler box which contains the water cooler itself, one manual, one mains plug and one manual plastic pump. Then open your single cycle valve box one of two to find the valve system itself. Open the box 2 of 2 to find 4 tubings, 2 red and 2 blue. They bring water from the bath to the water cooler system through the valve. You will find apart a little pack containing a 24 volt cable, 2 little connections to connect red and blue tubings to the motor plate and a cutting device if you need to shorten those tubings but be careful to have enough lack. You will find a manual too. Now open the Bioruptor Plus box one of one. You will find of course the control unit, the bath, the motor plate, one grey cable to enable the communication between the control unit and the bath and finally one mains black cable, one user manual, one chromatin shearing guide, one guideline for tubes and one guideline for critical steps. Finally open the soundproof box which contains, well yes, the soundproof box. Of course, we will also need a tube holder with corresponding tubes, so please don't forget to order your accessories with your Pyroriptor. You know, it would be so sad to run your Pyroriptor alone, just the empty bath without anything. Oh. Just thinking about it make me so sad. Uh, <clears throat> well, you can identify all parts of your machine and check if all these parts are on your table. Then you can begin the installation. Place the water cooler system below the table. Be careful, the cooler system has to be below the sanitation bath to avoid overflow. Yes, I know it would be so nice to have a swimming pool as a laboratory, but don't even think about it. No. Now place the little valve system just above the water cooler. Then place the soundproof box and the sanitation bath in front of it. Finally, Place the control unit on the top of the soundproof box. Now let's go plug-in. We will begin with the control unit. Just take the control unit cable, check the male side of it and plug this side to the back of the control unit. Make sure that the pins are matching before plug-in by checking the black pins. They have to match with each other. To make sure that the pins are correctly aligned, check the arrow. It has to be upside. Then check if the power is turned off on both sides of the control unit and connect the controller to mains with the power cable. At the back of your soundproof box, 
Remove one of the other rubber caps according to the thickness of your control unit cable and then feed it through the hole. Be careful to put the female side of the cable into the soundproof box. Then secure the cable by turning the front section counterclockwise to seal. Be sure there is enough slack in the cable. Now take the cable from inside the box and plug it into the sonication bath. Now take the motor lid and place it on the table. Take the little pack from the single cycle valve box, which contains a 24 volt cable, and that's what interests us now. The two little connections for red and blue tubings. You will have to put them to the motor lid. this way. Then place the motor lid on the top of the sonication bath and connect it. Make sure that the pins are matching. Place now the sonication bath into the soundproof box. Now we will link the bath to the water cooler system. To do so, we will first allow communication between the sonicator and the valve. Take the 24 volt cable and connect it to the controller. And to the valve. Make sure you put it the right way, just check the arrow in it. It has to be upside. Once you plug it, you will hear a little click meaning the connection is secured. Take now the two large red and blue cables. You have to feed them through the soundproof box using two holes at the back. Remove two rubber cap and feed one cable at a time. Once inside, plug them firmly to their corresponding color to the sonication bath. To check if they are well plugged, try to take them out. Indeed, it's very well plugged. If you really want to take them out, for an installation for example, just push the ring while taking the tubing out. Now we will link the two cables to their corresponding color at the little valve system. Be careful of the sonication logo, the big cables have to be plugged here. Then take the two little colored cables left and plug them between the valve and the water cooler system. Check if the colors match and if they are plugged to the cooling logo this time. Finally. Plug the control power cable to the back of the water cooler and connect it to mains. Now feed the water cooler with distilled water until the level control shows water line between the two limits. Oh, we just have a question right now. Yes. It's about 4 to 5 liters for the cooler. If you put too much, the extra water will be drained. To see how to do the draining, check the good practices video. Now fill the sonication bath up to the red fill line with 700 milliliters of distilled water. For more details about water type, please check the good practices video. Now turn on the control unit on both sides and wait until you can see the digital timer lighting. 
When you turn the controller on, you will hear a click from the valve, indicating that it is working properly. Turn on the water cooler by switching on the black button and then push the power button at the front to start the pump. To set the temperature, hold the set button and push the arrows until desired temperature is shown. You can see if the pump is working properly by checking the water arriving in the bath from the white tubing through the motor plate. We are now ready for a test! Just put your tube holder containing tubes, close the door of the soundproof box and push the start button. If you hear that gentle sound and if you see the motor plate working, it means that everything is okay. You are now ready for using your new Bioruptor Plus. If you want to see how you can use it, I suggest you to check the next video about the good practices. We will see together how you can use it in the best way. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach us by chatting with our crew on our website, by filling the form in the contact section, or by sending an email directly to customer.support at diagena.com. We will be glad to help you. I just want to say thanks for watching. I wish you a lot of pleasure with your new machine and the best results for your experiments. See you for our next video. Bye.